But yeah, uh, let us get into some EU4. With Mayo and Taxes, of course, because playing this game without that is, you know. Well, I don't know. I, I could go, go go on and on about heresy and shit like that, but it's only honestly just boring, I think. Uh, I do need me some pops and some um, some cancerous lag. I have updated the game, though. I mean, we're on beta 4 now, so the forum did imply that it was save game compatible. So we are going to just have to see if that's the case. Um, I am not sure, though. But the up the patch had uh, some updates that I liked, um, specifically it had um, yeah it had like a, it fixed like a bug with culture unions and if I ever become an empire I will be the culture union of my cancerous culture group and obviously it's a pretty thick one so having that ability I mean fucking even Georgian is in this culture group. Here I go on and on about how great this mod is, and then I have to show you this thing to just... I have no idea how this mod works. No, you don't. What's the start date? It starts in 1356, uh, I think. That's when the... Um, the constitution of the Holy Roman Empire was formed, you know, with the electors and shit like that. Um, yeah, but the big thing that this mod does is that it creates, or it takes a lot of power away from the player and puts it into the hand of other things. So one thing you might notice is that every province has autonomy and every province has a, um, has a, uh, an estate. Because, yeah, the estates sort of live their own life. Um... Yeah, they, I, I can't go into detail about all the sh all the differences, but basically the estates have a mind of their own in this mod. You know, the the provinces that they control give them an annual income, which they put into their treasury, which they use to um, build armies, for example. They have various privileges that gives them give them extra power. Uh, eventually, they're going to make it so that the um, the uh, estates can revolt and stuff. But right now, the main thing they use their money on is uh, they can build buildings on their own. That's pretty neat. Uh, the other big thing is population. Uh, you can't change development manually in this mod. Instead, development is um, is dynamic and based on you know how much infrastructure there is um, and the uh, local wealth of the province, which you can see here the local population of the province. So it's, all, it's yeah, th there's a lot of shite um, that would take a very long time to explain. But uh, it does create a, what I, you know, it does create a new level of immersion. Um, has no possible promises to, oof, oh wait, feels bad, man, okay. Yeah, currently my nation is just recovering from a massive civil war because I am kind of shit at this game, let's face it. Uh, so yeah, I had a massive civil war that completely drained my treasury. I'm now very much in debt. Um, my manpower took a hit. Uh, my legitimacy, legitimacy is technically high now, but as you can see, my prestige is a glorious minus 94. So uh, yeah, uh, I guess I've learned my lesson uh, that you should probably be a bit careful about having civil wars. No Ottomans though? Almost. I've done a pretty decent job at nuking them, uh, because obviously the start date is earlier, and so the Ottomans are a lot smaller. But the Ottomans do get a bunch of railroading uh, events. Like, they get a special modifier that make their armies invincible, and they get claims on everything. So the, I've, you know, the Ottomans are just as difficult in this game. Uh, but it does give you a small window of opportunity in the beginning that, you know, if you get enough allies... Essentially, I found that as playing as Kandar, I started with these three provinces. I feel like the general rule when fighting the Ottomans is that if you have twice their numbers in terms of troops, then you can win against them. If you have anything less than twice their troops, they normally have 9k at the beginning. So if you can gather enough allies and enough bullshit to get 18k troops, then you can win. Anything less than that and you're fucked. Uh, but yeah, the Ottomans are technically still alive because in my infinite wisdom when I fought my second war against them, I had kind of forgotten to build a navy, which meant I could never get over here and the Ottomans survived with one province. 
They then went ahead and joined the <laughs> the Trade League of Genoa, which means that I can't actually invade them anymore. Because I would have to fight Genoa and Munster, and I'm currently not thick enough to do that. So, feels bad, man. <laughs> so the Ottomans, I, I, I don't know. They, they're, they've just been sitting there for like half a century now. Um, doing jack shit, because, you know, what would they do? But I do admit that's kind of funny. Man, you weren't kidding when you said that uh, everyone is watching the Super Bowl. It seems to be only you here, troll. That's fine, though. Let the Americans have their uh, have their f sports ball. <laughs> the way I've played this campaign so far, uh, I actually fully respect people who don't feel like showing up. So I just was talking about how the Ottomans are in a trade league. But honestly, I wonder if this is the opportunity I've been looking for. How strong are the uh, the buys? Genoa. They have uh, 14 force limits. So yeah, they don't have a big standing army, but... I do wonder how much would it take, like how close are they to just realizing that maybe we shouldn't go wage war? Hmm. Yeah, we do have a thick enough navy to beat the autos, I'm pretty sure. We Canadians have our own version in November. It's not like a hockey bowl, the hockey bowl. Where you sit and slurp down maple syrup while... Uh, Watching Norway crush Canada in hockey. I'm joking. I don't actually know if Norway's do, do, do Norwegians even play uh, hockey. I don't fucking know. Hi, Kartoffel. We have the CFL. Okay. I guess Norwegians have we have our own football thing as well. Ooh, Spudgen just posted something. Hopefully it's another multiplayer compilation. If it's not, I'm gonna to have to be a salty boy. I do I, I do value my Spudgun multiplayer compilation. Occupied or besieged provinces. So if Genoa somehow gets shat on then Wait, how does this war look? Oh, okay, so it's not a one-sided thing then. Then again, Milan is the thick boy. This is well known. Um, he is a union leader of someone, but it's hard to see. Hi, Skynet. Currently plotting the ultimate demise of the Ottomans here. Salve Imperator. I tried to Google what salve meant, but I couldn't quite figure it out. The closest thing I got was that it meant high. So you're saying sub imperator. And I guess uh, I would ask, you know, the. Well, I guess we haven't conquered the Roman Empire yet, but as the future conqueror of the Roman Empire, it is fair to say that we will eventually claim the, the title of imperator. Yeah, he's literally going to death. The question is, do you, maybe I want to wage war on Genoa, because he does have some spicy land that I wouldn't mind taking over. I guess the only issue is that Genoa presumably has a pretty thick navy, and I need to be able to do a naval crossing to get to Gallipoli. It means hail. Oh. No Victoria 2 today? Nope. Um, we usually just do one Victoria 2 multiplayer a week. And yeah, uh, Teddy does not stream today, and I'm not sure, I don't think Lactose streams either, so... Obviously my streaming streaming schedule is like all over the place, so... Um, there's no like... Power structure... Can I ch fix this? Remove roving court, maximum centralization, my stand. 
Uh, I don't know. I guess we could check. Maybe he has nine galleys and five light ships. That's not necessarily that much. Hmm. He likes me though, actually. Hmm. That makes me even more hesitant to wage war on him. I feel like he could help me against the Byzantines. If it came to that. Why are there so few government reforms? I'm pretty sure this mod just doesn't have as many government reforms. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. I've never played... I, like, I, I was under the impression that there was more government reforms in the base game, but I've never played the base game with the new update. So I wouldn't know. Sweet Tekke is going away as well. Tekke would actually ally me. Wait, I can ally Tekke? Since when can I have three alliances? Does that mean I can ally Genoa? Yes, maybe I can. Well, that's nice. Only Tekke would ally me right now, but... Because the government is already perfect. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just don't know. Pay for the missionaries so that they can actually do something. Kandari peasants! Do we have even remotely close enough? Eh, we might be able to beat them. They're currently being angry in Ismit. No. Oh. Yeah, that this place, okay. Going to war would be give me an excuse. <laughs> He's not losing any provinces at the moment. And I doubt he will for any time soon. Build any more navy. Eh, I'm feeling a bit risky. Let's be a bit risky, chat. Who cares if we're massively in debt and just had a massive civil war? Let's go fight the biggest trade power in the Mediterranean. Yeah, if I can pick up this city, that would be pretty good. And yeah, there are some nice holdings there that I would like. Start getting relations with Aiden. Do you have any navy? You do actually. Yes, he has two or three ships. You cannot ask allies to. No, you can. Okay, interesting. Uh, we currently have a general there, so you know what? I'm actually going to spend my thing on a naval officer. Anyone want to be the glorious commander of the Kandari navy? Islam is spreading. Feels Islamic, man. Bursa could potentially be converted. Where even is that? Ah, the capital itself. Yeah, I would like to convert the capital. That would kind of be useful. Mm. We would need a, a buy for that. We don't have any... Uh, Conversion boy right now What I could do though is do the whole tolerance of intolerance thing uh, uh, uh. Also is the air any good not really Could potentially do a new favorite. I know I just had a massive civil war, but and you know 
my 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 legitimacy is not in an equilibrium right now, so I would have to wait a bit for that anyway, or you know. Hmm. Yeah. Kick kick this guy. Pay him to fuck off. And then we'll hopefully get some conversion buys. And let's take a risk. New session, new risks. Yes! That's what we need! 6 4. Oh, yes. Anyone want to be there to the throne? I feel like I just cocked uh, Kartoffel here. Yeah, no, he, he got in there. What's the current guy called? Oglu seems to be the um, Kandor Oglu, Selim, Katof, Lim. There we are. Maxiliogu, Kart. That guy. <laughs> Want a good Kartoffel in charge of the country? All right then. I guess Troll can be the uh, naval leader. Two shock, absolutely tolerable. Guess this boyo needs to fuck off. And so we prepare for war. Mayo, yeah, Mayo in Texas. The only true mod. Only way for men of culture to play this meme game. Kartoffel means potato. Yeah, uh, I actually sort of know that. Um, more like mayo in Texas. That's the classic meme, anyways. But yeah, uh, they actually. I think we used to say kartoffel in Norwegian. At some point, but it was replaced by potet, which is obviously the same in the same category as uh, potato. So, ah, okay. So Genoa will now not join. Part of me is almost a bit sad about that because I kind of wanted these holdings. But once again, if I can keep them friendly, then that might that might you know outweigh it. Now this does mean that this is going to be a relatively risk-free endeavor. Yeah, this is good shit. This is good shit. Troll the Morton combat here. Hard at work trying to kill the perfidious Turk. National unrest, that's nice and all, but I do need me some of that conversion. For once, I'm actually going to heavily restrict looting, just to get that... Uh, actually, you don't even get any siege ability, but... Then again, I don't want to loot this place. Do I even have enough troops to siege this shit? Barely, I think. I might have to get a merc. Maybe, maybe. I don't want to use the, um, the estates, so... You know what, let's build a bombard. Or not, because I'm too poor. Feels poor, man. Ah, uh, I guess we're gonna have to go into Dempt a bit. But if I can get away with it. Yeah, we do need 6,000, so this 
I don't know, man. Should have waited them, waited to annex them. 1461 would have been a better meme. I mean, Trezibond still rules, so we can still do the historic conquest of Trezibond. Okay, now we should be able to afford some cannon. Our vassal is helping out as well, so I guess maybe I didn't need that cannon then. Uvel. Cannon, cannon is still good. And I think just as this war comes to an end, we're going to immediately charge down to Teke, so... That's going to be fun. Yeah, conquer, Gallipoli, conquer, Teke. And then we're going to prepare for the big boy. And that's the conquest of Constantinople itself. Actually, the first war against the um, of the Romans might not actually be at the conquest of Constantinople. I might just do, you know, do like the Turks did and take all the surrounding territories and leave the capital for last. Because it's going to be a pretty nasty war, that. Um, because of the insane allies they have. Theodoro, the conqueror of the Steplands. And uh, Trezebond, also the conqueror of the Steplands. And, uh, yeah, the king of, or the emperor of Trezibond also happens to be the emperor of Georgia. So, we're going to have quite some fighting to do. That's when the Ottomans annex Kandar. Oh! I should have seen that. I've been listening, I've been listening to the History of the Ottoman Empire podcast to get good at Turkish history. Honestly, not the best podcast. Always feels like a bit of a dick move when you have to point stuff like that out, but kind of isn't that bra brilliant. Um. Ah, feels stability, man. Got myself a nice little legitimacy. Oh, we're still not in an equilibrium. That's so bad. Oh, you get ooh, the bank loans lose your legitimacy. I did not know that. Hey. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, I guess it was only 20% um, um, there, so we still have to, some conversion to do. We are working on it, though. I sort of am currently trying to avoid conquering any more orthodox land, I say, as I'm currently conquering more orthodox land. But I really do need Gallipoli, so that's an exception. Best civilized streams. Everyone knows Greenforce streams are the best podcasts. <laughs> a lot of people use streams though as podcasts. Like, uh, as in you you sit and watch like um, like if you have two screens, either or if you have two screens or two computers by each other, you know you'll play video games while you um, uh, watch the stream. I know I like to do that. Oh man. Oh, that's a nice line spike. If, every, if only every war against the Ottomans would be this easy, eh? Give me all your money. That's not a lot of money. Oh, well. Well, that's a nice start to the stream, though, wouldn't you say? Just start like that, with the outright annexation of the Ottoman Empire. Feels good, man. And so we prepare. Play some Dempt. Nay! Din Javel! For fuck's sake! No, the knights, you're not allowed to invade Teke! Fit the Dreet Satanske inlicks the Kalvetis cook. That's fucking annoying. Well, I guess we'll get in here and see what we can get. Try and claim these two at least. I assume that. Yeah, fuck, that's so dumb. Getting cocked like that right now? Didn't need that. Really did not need that. At 
At least it's gonna be a very fast war. These are good Muslim lands though, man. Yeah, I can't fight the knights because they are friends with the Venetians, so... Yeah, sorry. I do get a bit cursy sometimes. Also, <laughs> Connick, you better not go down here and like, help the knights. Because that is not acceptable, bro. You stay back and save your money. Wait, they have an army? Hold up. An army that they obviously didn't feel like using on me. Or uh, that they... Uh... What am I even trying to say? Pardon me, it feels like I shouldn't even be killing this, these guys. The tech of the Romans, thirteen. Oof. Yeah, I might have to save save up for mill tech then and do um, and do ideas later. Can you teach me some Norwegian swear words? It sounds really cool. I guess the classic one is farm. So far, I'm. Well, I guess it sounds more like far arm, farm, farm. Uh, which I think it means like the devil or something like that. Fanden. I don't really think about the, the the origin of my swear words, but yeah. We have renewed a loan. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, we need to start saving up money. Also, are you really going to drag this war out? I can actually peace out right now. Okay then. I guess I am the one who has to peace out, so... Could become a vassal. Nah, he's also at war with Venice, so I wouldn't want to join that sh shenanigans. So just... Do whatever gives me prestige, I guess, even if it's not gonna matter in the long term. That's bad, man. Cocked out of some nice territory. Pay more damage. Uh, uh, Yeah, yeah. Civil War was bad and all, but it wasn't actually as bad as I originally thought. At least that's the impression I'm getting now. We now have CB against Mentis. Who actually likes me, but I think he has too many allies, so I don't think that would work. Yeah, nope. Ooh. Can make those cores immediately, that's nice. We'll have to wait for militancy here, though. That's tolerable. Oh, the Romans are going to war. Is that an offensive thing? The Roman invasion of Albania. Interesting. Are you farming room or something else? Uh, you can't form room in Mayo and Taxes. At least I think so. Also, hey there, vassal. Uh, or friend, ally, whatever. I don't think you're supposed to... Yeah, I can't be having him falling apart like this. Hopefully he's not having a civil war, but... Uh, but yeah, I I even if I could form room, I probably wouldn't even want to do it. You do get some decisions, though. You can claim room, so you can, you know, you can get claims on a bunch of stuff. Uh, but I don't think there is an actual button. Oh, here's the thing. Move capital to Rumilia. Candorgate, claim on Greece region, Eastern Balkans. Up to 30% will be converted to... Okay, so if I... If I get enough shite in Europe, I can move my capital over there. I don't see why you would, though. Bursa is a much better capital. The claims are nice. 
Territorial Corps. Yeah. I'm basically getting all of the uh, railroad events that the Ottomans normally have. But yeah, we can claim the Sultanate of Rum, we can claim Rum, we can do all these things, but I, I don't think we ever become Rum. We just get, you know, bonuses and shit like that. It has a decision uh, to claim Sultanate of Rum. Yeah, I, I know you can form a room in the base game now, but there is no such thing as forming it in this mod. Maybe you can do it if you uh, enable fantasy tags at the beginning, but... I, once again, our color is not the best, to be honest, but it's tolerable. Our flag is really cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm mostly... Oh, of course, the Boston didn't even take this. And he's guaranteed by Karaman! You gotta be kidding me. Come on, Karaman, we're supposed to be allies. This is not how allies work. At least that means he won't conquer him. So I guess in that sense, it's a good thing. Alright, let's go kill some... Uh, some Civil War buys. I, shite, I don't even have access, do I? Also, why is there rock music? I could have sworn I had... I don't I don't have the rock DLC. I guess I forgot to turn it off when I started the game. Like, I like this rock music and all, but I don't... I don't feel like rock music has a place in Paradox games. I know I'm being a bit of a heretic by saying that, but... Next song. Yes, this is Ottoman music. This is the kind of music I can kill infidels with. Feels bad, man? Eh, once again. I, I don't feel bad about it. As well, you know, people... Sometimes I don't form nations. Like, if, if the nation in question is not... interesting in that sense. Partial control of the boss first rate? Nice. It's like in the Spain campaign I'm doing in Victoria 2 at the moment. The comment section is just, just going ape shit. Form Iberia! Form Iberia, Green Force! You should form Iberia! Like, no! Don't want to form Iberia. Also, I recently had a check in the files uh, as a favor to a guy on the Discord, and you can't actually form Iberia as Carlist Spain, so that was never even an option. Also, do I really need this fortification in the capital? I mean, if anything, I should just ditch the Huda Vendigar one. Yeah, let's do that. Huda Vendigar is no longer the front lines of the Empire, and so it is no longer needed. Pay Dempt. I guess we need to pay down the inflation because, you know, there's no way to get rid of it other than paying it down with mana points, so you might as well just do it. That's at least my impression. Legitimacy is kind of oof. Uh, Sunni Islam was a mistake, man. I wish there was a way you could convert um, to some neater form of Islam. I don't know how uh, Ibadi is in this mod, but I know Shia Islam is the way of the future. Look at them bonuses 10% morale, missionary strength. Oh, mein Gott. Gimme, gimme. The downside, of course. I mean, they're, they're actually, like, Sunni has some really nice stuff as well. Trade power, um, and the big one is, of course, tolerance of the true faith and tolerance of heretic. Actually, no, that's awful. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Wait, you don't get any tolerance of heathens? Well, now I'm really salty that I'm Sunni. Don't think there's a good way for me to convert, though. You can't do the cheesy thing in this game where you like, um, where you know, you, you know, religious rebels do not convert provinces in this mod because obviously that's a really dumb mechanic, even if it is a very fun one. Um, keep up the great work. You are the sole reason why I reinstalled Wicked 2. Much love from the USA. Thank you so much, Obamacare, for you. Um, yeah, Wicked 2 is good shit, man. The modding community is still strong. Bought Victoria 2 because of you. Best advertisement for Paradox. Uh, 
Speaking of buying shit though, and having Paradox rip you off, I, I, I hate to say it, but if you buy Victoria 2, you actually kind of have to buy the DLCs as well. There's only two DLCs, but they do sort of double the price of the game. Um, because Victoria 2 isn't really playable without them. There's a lot of like broken mechanics in the base game that were only fixed in the DLC. So, and all the mods for the game, which you also really need, because Victoria, there's a lot of broken stuff in Victoria 2. And so you need to do everything you can to sort of, you know, smoothen out the rough edges, if you will. Um, and getting, uh, the, the two main conversion mods are um, HFM and HPM. Um, there's, there's multiple Reddit thread, threads about the exact differences, but they're relatively similar. Actually, do I even want to be friends with Karaman? I think for now, yes. But Sinop gets influence on. Damn it, that kind of sucks. Uh, but I can't afford it to spread, so Uvel. But yeah, uh, I, I would recommend HPM though, if you're wondering what mod I would recommend to you. It's a lot. I many dreads, Satan ska fitte. Is this a joke? This is a joke. Here I rip my fucking legitimacy to get a new ear. Maxilogu Kartoffelim has died. And the ear is a one, two, three! <laughs> oh, that's so bad. I don't I don't even get to name him. He just has like a dumbass generic name. What is this autism? He has a weak claim! Can I... Okay, that's actually really bad. We might actually have another civil war then. <laughs> we might actually have another civil war. Uh, religious controversy, yes. Okay, so here's a guy, a guy in my Discord told me that religious controversies can actually give you good shits. That would kind of stop my conversion from working, but I might be able to compensate by getting a boy. I'm seeing no conversion by as it is right now, but... But yeah, so if you do that, you can then supposedly... Uh, yeah, we can do that, that's probably good. But if you have a uh, religious controversy, you should be able to confiscate church land. But it seems my Discord chat and my Twitch chat has lied to me. Maybe it's just a thing for the Christians, I don't know. But there's no confiscate anything here. Explain how it works. No, no, no. God damn it. That's a nuisance. Well, we'll persecute other religions though, just to uh, get this conversion done. Ah, oh, that sucks though. Fuck, he's so trash. I really can't afford to... I, I will have to try and get prestige then. And hope that I can... Um... And then hope I can um, do the normal EU4 thing where you disinherit. Because this guy is just so trash. Weak claim? What even is that? Aye, aye. Current Sultan is getting reasonably old though. In gameplay terms anyways. And I guess in historic terms. Oh fuck. Um, yeah, I did not pay attention, did I? No, I did not. Which means I have not even turned on my fort. Uh, munka, 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 S. Shait. Merc and Neri, please. Yeah, I, I have turned on Munka S in chat, by the way, so. Feel free to Munka your heart out. See if the uh, the leader here can pull this off. 
I know that I really shouldn't be using my uh, my my leader as like a, as a general when I'm currently in this kind of a nasty position, but sometimes that's life. Get that up and running. Let's see if we can chase down this small buy. Good, and then we have to hope that we can get here in time, which is mostly just about how fast we can uh, recover. And I'm going more into debt, damn it. This will have to do. We have a technical numerical uh, advantage. He does not have a general. And so he dies. Yay! We actually killed the rebels. <laughs> That's like... A rarity in this campaign so far. Uh, we're just gonna consolidate and then nuke the uh, shittiest regiment because fuck paying for that and then go back to doing nothing. New consort? Nope. I would much rather have the prestige. Can I ask my buys for... Nah, they don't like me much, do they? Let's see. How is the current education in court and shit like that? Uh, currently yearly funding is... Whatever that's... What? It's zero, okay. Well, let's get some funding in there. I don't feel like spending a lot on that right now. Actually, aren't we pretty close to getting the next level? Ah, then, ah, who cares? Mm -mm -mm. I have questions. Yeah, level 30, so I could, I really could do with that. So I'll actually bump that up a bit. So what's the goal of this campaign? Um, you know, I guess to try and do what the Ottomans did, become the big bad uh, spook boy who freaks out the Europeans. So far, the only real uh, anything I've achieved is to kill the Ottomans. Other than that, I haven't achieved jack shit. <laughs> but, uh, oh well. Okay, I think the conversion will stick this time. As we should now have 60% Islam in Shani Karakarikri. No, I don't think there's anything else we can convert. No, we need. Yeah, once we once we get rid of the uh, religious controversy, though, we can start doing it again. That goes away in 10 years. Oh, that's quite a long time, actually. We will. Paying Dempt. And... Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Seems like the game runs a bit better though. I mean, it doesn't run well, but for being May on taxes, I feel like this is quite tolerable. Despite the overextension, we actually still have decent, uh, decent manpower. Yeah, you can sort of see why the Ottomans became the dominant uh, Beylik. This general area is just really good. The three musketeers here are still allied to each other, so there is no real hope of invading them successfully anyways. I do want to annex this chunk of territory though. Not sure if I want to do Saruhan, but um, is it the same in this mod that you can only convert provinces that are in your state? I think so. Uh, I'm not really a big uh, EU4 player, so I couldn't really... Like, I'm not fully up to date on all the updates and all the stuff, so... 
I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly how all of that stuff works. <laughs> Mom looks would not join. Eh, we can we can deal with that when the time comes. Soon we're out of debt, though. But yeah, I I, hmm. I do think that the the big plan at this point is to prepare for a big war against the the autumn uh the Byzantines. Uh, I would need some Diplo rep, but we do have a Diplo buy. Yeah, we can just hire a new Mansahin and uh, we'll have the Diplo rep we need. And so what's going on in Persia anyways? They haven't added Timur to the mod yet. Um, at least I think so. Yeah, no, no Timur. Who the fuck are you? Corisid. Are they Kurds or...? Yeah, Kurds are forming a little empire over here. How neat. Karakin Lu is still loyal to the Jailarids. Also, I, I noticed it, but I didn't point it out. The freaking the Crusader Kingdom of Cyprus, uh, with Frankish culture, has freaking uh, converted to Miaphysites. That's so funny. Man, I wish I could convert to Miaphysite. That would be awesome. But... I don't think there are enough Miaphysite lands to do that. And you can't unstate things in this mod, so... Yeah, before I spend any more money, let's make sure we... Um... Let's make sure we sort out the whole uh, debt situation, just so I don't have to take any more inflation. Uh, okay, whatever whatever happened there, that's fine. As long as I didn't lose stability. I probably lost some stability points, but that's fine. You probably could do a, uh, like an Ottoman, or like a, um, like a Turkish Miaphysite run, though, because there are a lot of Miaphysite lands over here in Armenia. Uh... If only, if only the Retnids were playable, then uh, they could definitely be like a, uh, a Mia Fissai Turkish Empire. That could be fun. But they're not really playable in this mod, so... So there's not much to do about it. And there we are! Finally, we have no more debt. Feels good, man. Still making good money. Yeah, we have this by collecting. Uh, uh, um, do I even? Yeah, I think him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think things are good as they are. Trade is not the biggest source of income right now. Mia Fizz, I Trezzy Bond next. <laughs> I mean. I struggled a lot to play any nation that could successfully beat the Ottomans, so I really doubt I can pull off Trezebon, but... If you come up with a strategy, then uh, I, you are very welcome to inform me. Let's see a clown conversion boy. Damn it, it's just the same guy again and again, what the fuck? Well, I guess I'm giving up on that project then. You can send your ships to protect the trade while they are... Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot to send my... Uh, my dudes back, didn't I? I only have two trade ships, but... It's something. I really should build more of those, but right now I, I still want some some galley navy uh, in the hopes that I can, you know, 
challenge. I, and then again, I don't really need that anymore, do I? Because I, I have uh, Gallipoli now, which means I can walk over here without the uh, without the Byzantines being able to uh, to do anything about it. Yeah, no forts here, so I should be able to just walk about in these Byzantine holdings without there being any real threat to anyone. That's nice to see. I can ally the White Horde. Considering how much they're dying at the moment, I don't think that would make sense. Oh, what the fuck? Muron! <laughs> Future Emperor of the Russians, eh? That's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, hordes are not very powerful in this mod. As if they're as if they were ever powerful in the base game, but actually, eh, are they that bad in the base game? I don't actually know. Yeah, I guess we can start getting some claims on these guys. Just to inform them that we're coming, I guess, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> the only thing that's really giving me second thoughts. Uh, when going against the R Roman Empire, is that it will really increase the, um, or you know, decrease the religious unity. So it's going to make converting things basically impossible. I do wonder if I should try and go against these guys instead. I don't think I can beat them all three at the same time, though. Especially considering that the Mamluks would never even join. Yeah, that's not happening then. Should have done what the Ottomans did and, you know, conquer the place before anything happened, but well. Hordes are faking OP in the base game? Yeah, I guess. They work, they work very differently in this mod, though, because of the tribal estate. Um, which means that they have, like, crazy autonomy everywhere, but they can raise a lot of tribal host. Uh, I don't really have any tribes to speak of in my country, so I can't... Yeah, I only have a tribal host of one, and I don't even think I can raise that in wartime, but... But obviously, the hordes have a lot of tribal hosts, so they can have, like, huge armies. The only issue is that those armies can only be raised uh, during wartime, which means that during peacetime, the uh, the horde is not necessarily the thickest of boys. But, um, you know, that is life, I guess. Yeah, it seems like Sunni Islam is spreading down in uh, Indonesia. Good for them. New consort. Ooh, we get a new heir to the family. I mean, he's a he's not a very good he's not very good and he is only he only has an average claim, but the sad thing is that that's actually superior to what we have right now. So, yeah. We'll actually do that. Uh, I'll let you guys think about who should be the heir to the, or who should uh, have the honor of having the heir to the throne named after you. 